Hi, I'm Flammy, and in this episode of the Nostalgia Trip, I'm gonna be finally continuing with my reactions to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2012 series. Uh, currently, we are on season 2, episode 11, called Metalhead Rewired, and episode 12 of Rats and Men. But before we get into the reaction, few things I have to go over, as I usually do. First of all, if you want to get the full-length reactions uh, to everything that I do nowadays uh, in terms of the cartoon reactions, aka Generator Rex, uh, this show, and uh, Full Metal Alchemist, you can get them by going down uh, in the description below and clicking on the link to my Patreon, where by subscribing at the uh, specific title that I've created uh, for it, you get access to all the full-length reactions that I've done. Although, keep in mind, I've only started doing them since I started reacting to the... Uh, to this series and Full Metal Alchemist and Generator X, so you're not really gonna get full length reactions for Transformers Armada or the 2003 series. Although for that one, you don't really need one because for that series, uh, when I reacted to it, I kept most of the episodes in the videos anyway, so there's that. And the second thing that I have to go over is that, again, I wanna apologize for taking so long in doing these reactions. It's not because I don't enjoy uh, doing these reactions, I really do, especially this season has been so uh, so damn good, but uh, because of personal life stuff, uh, it's just I've just been busy for the last like two or so weeks, because as you can see, I've, I've moved back to this place again, and uh, if you're curious why I have to constantly move from one place to another, uh, I don't really want to get into it too much, because it's a little bit of a long story, but Simplest way I can put it, it's due to the nature of my parents' job requires us to move from one house that is owned by the company that employs my parents to another one. So that's what we do. And we had to take, uh, we needed a few days to move back to this house. And in addition to that, we had to do a little bit of a, uh, a renovating job on our house. So we had to work on stuff and I... Uh, I was also busy fixing up some of my furniture, like you can see that cupboard behind me. I had to fix it up and add a, a few more uh, shelves on which I can put stuff. Because I've always wanted to have uh, something where I can show like my DVD disc collection. So I was busy with that for like a couple of days as well. And in addition to that, as I, I've explained this in some of my other videos that I did, but I've also had been waiting for some uh, new equipment for my videos to arrive. Like for example, this microphone with which I'm going to be recording uh, gaming videos go going forward. So the audio for those should sound much better. And I also had to wait for a tripod for my phone with which I record. So I can record for a better angle. And... Those things took a few days to arrive as well, so I've been busy with that. And for the last like two or so days, I've been constantly recording and editing videos. Uh, but I just had to prioritize doing the Plumist Autumn videos. Again, not because I enjoyed doing those videos more than uh, these reactions, but because I've, I had already been late on doing those videos. Uh, because I usually try to do the Plumist Autumn reviews... Uh, as soon as I watch the show, whichever I'm, uh, that I'm reviewing, but sometimes it just gets away from me, so I just had to get them out of the way so I can, going forward, I don't have to prioritize them like that again. But yeah, enough uh, talking about stuff you don't care about. You're here for the reaction. And I'm pretty excited to get into these episodes uh, because some of you guys have shown that uh, there is something exciting coming up. I don't think it's going to be in these two episodes because I noticed that uh, the next two episodes, 13 and 14, seem to me like some kind of a two-parter, so I'm pretty sure that's what you're excited about. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the reaction, starting off with episode 11, Metal Hit Rewired, in 3, 2, 1. I programmed him to simulate dozens of fighting styles, including the foot and the clang. Psh, can't simulate my fighting style. Let's you don't have a fighting style, around. Mikey. <laughs> other, other than just random fighting moves. And again with some really cool uh, camera moves this season. Man, I've missed reacting to this show, man. Those fine triplets are after me! We are not frogs! Wait, what? Also, they're not now gonna have to defend him? That is interesting. I don't even rem remember who he was before he got mutated, actually. They're heading for the surface! Huh? They just 
disappeared? That's you know impossible. better. You guys know be better. A secret door or a Isn't this literally somewhere. a place where you guys Man went out. to? Mm. I'm pretty sure you you did find like a yeah. a secret base for the crown right before in a very similar well, location. Vision. You win this round. Metalhead. Metalhead's memory core isn't too badly damaged. Stop it, Mikey. She's gonna so bite you. Crank security algorithms were too complex to decrypt. Let's try and see more Englishy. I should be able to. Oh come on! You I hate that troll. In English, please. You realize that this is a nerd me. franchise, right? I know it's like for kids and everything, but come on, stop with that shit. A while. It's not like the kids get it if you explain it to them in English. Do you boys have any idea what time it is? Uh, pizza time? Why was the door locked? <laughs> ah, you know. Just messing around. No reason. Metalhead tried to kill us. Leonardo? The truth is, Sensei. We gotta meet April at Murakami's. A big mutant sushi problem. We'll be back before dawn. Don't wait up for us. <sighs> Teenagers. Boomers. There's a secret door down here. <laughs> oh, definitely not a secret door. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hurl. Dude, you're leaving the sewers. <gasps> What was that? I don't understand. It, it was just... Guys, it's a TARDIS! Um, it's a TARDIS, it's literally glue, it's a TARDIS! What? It's a TARDIS! How did you do that? <laughs> I just got the touch. Oh, LTV, man. like a turtle do. Wait till I get out of here. Spike? I'm gonna break every spike. Ah! It looks like a prison. Sure does. Snake Queen? Dr. Rockwell? Oh no. Mr. O'Neill, we gotta get him. Okay, on. this episode turns out to be more plot relevant than I thought. What the hell? It's kinda cool how we're including. <laughs> Uh, Monsters of the Week in this though. I, I really like that. Uh, guys? Metalhead! Is he working for the crane? Dude, I knew something didn't feel right when he grabbed my face. Okay, he's on your side. I mean, it's actually not clear. I think he might be on his own side. the mutant captives that are controlled by Krang. No, they would have to leave him behind, aren't they? No! No! I... No! I was so mad if that happens. Mr. O'Neill! Fly out of here! Please! For April! Go now! Metalhead, we're leaving! Can. He has to keep it open for us. But what about him? I told you, god damn it! We don't have a choice. Oh come on! You can't make me care about him and then you murder him. Metalhead. Oh no! Come on, dude. Why got me like this? Can't believe this show made me care about this tin can, dude. Who would have thought the saddest moment of this show so far is gonna be the death of Metalhead? I definitely did not see that coming. <clears throat> and I did not see this episode being this good, actually. Like, I've heard some of you guys have commented that you're really excited for me to react to the next few episodes. 
uh, which again I think you're specifically talking about uh, episode 13 and 14 which seem to be like a cool two-parter so I was like oh, okay so that means that episode 11 and 12 are gonna be filler and 12 could still be filler but this episode I mean it was really fucking awesome it was epic it was a cool kind of team up -y thing i would have liked more uh uh team up fights between the different mutants instead of all of them just escaping although we did get at least a few glimpses of every single one of the mutants doing something and fighting um but i i feel like you could have done it even better than it already is i really enjoyed it and metalhead after being uh kind of ready to be put like after uh look hearing that he's gonna get put put down instead of uh, even attacking the turtles or, or hurting them he just locked them up so he can go out and defeat the crank himself what a g what a guy man i, I really like metalhead really climbed up my rankings of my favorite characters of this show but I don't know if we ever get another Metalhead episode. I don't think it's really going to feel the same. Because like this one, he evolved into a really cool character uh, by the end of the episode. And I feel like if you're a built Metalhead, unless he still acts like that, it's just not going to be the same. But I really did enjoy this episode. This was a really, really fun episode. Much better than I expected it to be, if I gotta be honest. So yeah, um, in terms of a rating for this episode, I'm also going to give it like an 8.5 out of 10. It was a really fun and entertaining epic episode that uh, low-key felt like a finale, like I said. It it had the f f uh, feel of a finale, it had kind of like a, the build-up of a finale, because we have uh, seen the Turtles fight a lot of these creatures in this season or in the last season. So it was cool to see them... Again, like it felt like maybe the season until this point was kind of building up to this. So I feel like with a little bit more work and adding a little bit more weight and substance to the different creatures that uh, and mutants that they had to save in this episode, this could have been a dope mid-season finale or something along those lines. I don't know. There's definitely some real good potential, but even the way it is right now, it was still a really fun episode. And better than most of season one. Like, like I said, uh, season one to me is pretty bad. Like, no offense, I didn't hate necessarily watching through the first season, but for the most part, I was bored by most episodes. But season two, on the other hand, so far I feel like there's maybe like two, three episodes at most that I haven't really enjoyed. Everything else has been decent to great. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see where we're going to go going forward with this season. And we still have to react to episode 12 in this video, so without further ado, let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. I don't know, Master Splinter. This doesn't seem fair. I assure you, it isn't. But it's not because Splinter has more skills and experience than you, Leonardo. <laughs> Blind fighting is more than honing your other senses. It is about perception and giving the illusion of control. You may think you have the upper hand in the situation. You do not. Clunk? Is this gonna be clunk? Oh, it is! Oh my god, it is, it is gonna be Mikey's cat! Oh my god, fuck. She could feed off his body for months. You know, there is something seriously wrong. Um. Uh oh. Well, now you're definitely gonna have to take care of that cat. Also, Jesus Christ, poor kitty. What have I done? You murdered a poor kitty! Everything okay, Mikey? Yeah, yeah. You tell me. No! Holy shit! This is gonna be pissing his pants after this. This is not helping my whole rat thing. Yeah, I agree. Help him! <laughs> I 
got what I came for. Soon New York and the world will be mine! Uh, Sensei, are you okay? What happened? The Rat King has returned. Giant rats! Giant yeah, I think rats. Casey's gonna see that one out. Maybe you should sit this one out, Casey. Yeah. <laughs> we could really use your help, Sensei. Last time, you took that creep down with one punch. Last time was different, Leonardo. The Rat King has grown too powerful. I do not fear for myself, but for what he could force me to do. Jesus Christ, that is terrifying. Casey! Are you ready for the most dangerous, crucial mission? Is she talking to the cat? Oh, kitty. Then let's do this. Is she gonna take it with him? That's right, Aristotle. Every time one of my rats. Dude, you're way into your. Human, you're way into your own rats. Spread until every human being in this wretched world. You know what is a shame about this show? That the art style for scenes like this is so much more interesting and fun to look at than the CGI. I think that's one of the reasons why I just don't like this show. Just the CGI doesn't work for me, especially compared to how good the 2003 series was. And yes, I know, I know, I know, it's annoying to keep bringing up the comparisons between the two series, but it's really impossible not to do so. Forget that, Rat King! Oh, I swear, if that fucking works now... Is that April's cat? Absolutely not. Uh, Destroy them! Whoa, that's badass! Whoa, Caligula! Yeah. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. You run like a coward when not in control. Who said I'm not in control? Attack! I'll be fine if I live the rest of my life without. What's with the handheld CDI camera in a car? That is weird. <laughs> It's cool, but it's weird. I've had about enough of you. Fuck yeah, Casey. What? How about now? Oh, that's cool. That is creative. Man, he looks see. freaky as fuck. Send you over the edge. Good job, Splinter. My king. Oh, that was badass, man. I definitely think I know what's gonna be in my thumbnail. Okay. So that's where the episode ends, I guess? That is a little bit of a quick ending there. You just defeat the bad guy and it's over. Not really anything to wrap up. I mean, it's a filler episode. Definitely felt like a filler episode, even compared to the last one, which definitely did not feel like a filler episode. But yeah, I don't know. I definitely ended up enjoying uh, this episode in the second half. Um, although I still think it's a worse episode compared to the last one. The last one just was fun and entertaining it felt epic and it had a really cool team up between all the different uh villains that we have faced this season it was just cool this one was definitely more on the filler side and felt more of a rehash of the same storyline from the previous rap king episode so yeah i don't know i still ended up enjoying it but not as much as i did for the last episode you know and um, in terms of a rating for this episode, I think I'm going to give it a begrudgingly solid 8 uh, out of 10. 
because I feel like it could easily have been a little bit lower, but because of that badass ending scene and the badass fight at the end, I feel like it deserves an 8 out of 10. Because it's a solid episode, it's just a, it's a little bit of a filler, um, and especially uh, after getting such a cool filler episode in the form of episode 11, it's just a little bit more disappointing, you know? But it was still an enjoyable one. So yeah, uh, what did you guys think about this episode? Comment down below and let's have a discussion about it. And also, as usual, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently three patrons on Patreon, Omari Bridgman, Deadpool, and Lemonade. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me that you enjoy my content enough to decide to support me through my Patreon, and you get uh, the benefit of watching the full-length reactions, so yeah, thank you, thank you very much. And if any of you guys who are not supporting me on my Patreon want to do that, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, go down in the description below, click on the link to my Patreon, and subscribe at the specific tire. And yeah, I think this is pretty much it, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, also check out the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there, and to my Wattpad or post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my, on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or my Coffee account where you can pledge support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!